Hello and welcome to Hallelujah Hometown. Uh, this is Grant Lewis, uh, your host. And the scripture says that if they will cry out, then the rocks and the trees will cry out. Um, today I'm reading from Max Lucado's Six Hours on a Friday as we start February 2004, which is the week that leads up to Resurrection Sunday, the day that Jesus um, arose from the tomb. Um, Max Lucado's book has a lot of great content, but I'm going to read chapter 15, Fantasy or Reality. Two crowds, one entering the city and one leaving. They couldn't be more diverse. The group arriving buzzes with laughter and conversation. They follow Jesus, and the group leaving the city is solemn. A herd of sadness hypnotized by the requiem of death. Above them rides the reason for their grief, a cold body on a bare stretcher. The woman at the back of the procession is the mother. She has walked this trail before, and it seems like just yesterday that she buried the body of her husband. Her son walked with her then. Now she walks alone, quarantined in her sadness. She is the victim of a funeral, and she is the one with no arm around her shoulder. She is the one who will sleep in the empty house tonight. She is the one who will make dinner for one and um, a conversation with none. She is the one most violated. The thief stole her most treasured diamond, companionship. The followers of Jesus stop and step aside as the procession shadows by. The blanket of the morning bubbles the laughter of the disciples. No one speaks. What did they say? They feel the same despair felt by the bystanders at the funeral. Someday that will be me. No one will intervene. What could they do? Their only choice is to stand and stare as the mourners shuffle past. Jesus, however, knows what to say and what to do. When he sees the mother, his heart begins to break and his lips begin to tighten. He glares at the angel of death that hovers over the body of the boy and says, Not this time, Satan. This boy is mine. Friend, I want to extend an invitation to uh, you to come and to follow this man, this God, Jesus Christ. For right now, he is telling us this, not this time, Satan, this boy is mine. Friend, he is saying, not this time, Satan, this child is mine, this um, life is mine, and he wants to give you eternal life. Um, let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires are known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your most glorious name through Jesus Christ, your resurrected Son. And it's in his name that I pray. Friend, I believe if you just prayed that prayer um, that you have been saved. I want you to do me a favor now. Um, Go and uh, get baptized and find a good Bible-believing uh, church. Um, if you have any questions, good um, recommendation, give me a call at 615-326-5544. And I'm not telling you what I've heard. I'm telling you what he's done. Um, please support this ministry by visiting my website, benjamingrantlewis.com slash give. And there you will find many options to make donations to His Holy Historically Church Corporation, uh, Broadway Jubilee Amenities and Concierge Society, and the International Justice Mission. You know I'm very passionate about the fight to end modern slavery and to end homelessness. Until next time, glory be to the Father and to the Son, to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, it is right now, and it ever shall be. Amen.